We're just ahead of the season two finale. It appears that SJP and the girls from Sex and the City are renewed for another season of their continuation show. That story kicks off today's trending stories. Here is a look at our hot topics brought to you by Wolf and Art Center. The show, and just like that, has been renewed for season three at Max. The news comes just ahead of the season two finale, which is set to debut on Max tomorrow. The series, of course, reunites Sarah Jessica Parker, Cynthia Nixon, and Kristen Davis. The new show also saw the return of John Corbett as Aiden. Now, season two cast also reunited original series cast member Kim Cattrall, who made a cameo in the series finale. Um, and of just like that, ranks as the number one Max original overall and is the most watched returning Max original to date. So no doubt that this was going to get renewed when you've got viewership like that. Were you a friend, of, uh, a fan of Sex and the City or of this current show? Um, I, I watched the movies. Those okay. were those were really fun. I never, you know, I kind of missed the train and when it came out. And yeah. so there was just too much to catch up on. But I know that this one's really exciting because they kind of, some of the criticisms of the original show was that it was a predominantly white cast. Sure. And now we have Sarita Chaudhary, who's That's an right. yeah. Indian woman who's like, I've been a fan of her since uh, Mississippi Masala. Yeah. Which is like... Going back a while. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, it's really nice that, like, she's finally getting this uh, newfound exposure and, you know, back to sort of uh, Hollywood, essentially. Sure. And so yeah. I've heard it's, I heard it's great. Yes. Yeah. Uh, exciting that they get renewed for another season. Check this one out. Charles Martinet, the original voice of Mario in Nintendo games since the 1990s, well, he's stepping down. Nintendo of America has confirmed that Martinet will now serve in the role of, quote, Mario ambassador, traveling around the world to promote the beloved plumber, signing autographs and performing Nintendo character voices. In addition to being the original voice of Mario, he's also voiced Luigi, Wario, Wally, Waluigi? I don't even know who that character is, but I'm sure it's popular. Uh, while he did not voice Mario in the recent movie, he did have a small role as Mario's dad. So I'm kind of interested in this transition um, because, you know, obviously Chris Pratt, you see there, was hugely popular in, in this movie. But I wonder who, moving forward, will voice Mario in the, uh, the video games. Were you a Mario fan? I did play a lot of Nintendo as a kid. Um, yes, I, I did too. I had my Game Boy Advance, and there's a Super Mario game that I still haven't beat, and I refuse to look at any of the cheats on them. Yes, I totally understand that. Yeah, that's interesting news to keep our ear to the ground on. What's well, being dubbed as the cutest race ever. Look at your screen right now. Don't let the young age fool you. <laughs> These are serious competitors. 29 babies between the ages of six months to one year attempted to crawl their way to the finish line at an inaugural baby race. This one took place in Pennsylvania. It was their coaches, mostly moms and dads, armed with gadgets and toys, coach, coaxing them to the finish line. In the end, there was a clear winner, 10-month-old Aletha Ruoff, who takes home a $200 prize. But in the end, really, they're all winners, at least when it comes to being the cutest. So, I mean, look at that. I wonder if the parents were more invested. I, I do a lot of sports with my kids, and I feel like the parents are more invested sometimes than the actual athletes out there. I don't know. I feel like I was always competitive. Like, yeah. I would have been that kid. <laughs> oh, man, she is going for it. Full-on Lion King uh, Simba thrust up into the sky there. That's fun.